I love the topic of today's video blog. It's called Go Big or Go Home. So what's that all about? When you're in conversation with someone, and wh when I'm talking to the camera here now, um, as, as, you, as you know, the camera's here in my office. It's pretty close by. It's actually the relationship between me and the camera is pretty much as it would be if you and I were speaking in person. We'd be about the same distance apart. Um, so when I, make, um, when I make gestures when I'm speaking with you, I make them as if we were speaking in person. I might move my hand around. If I say, you know, if I say uh, the, uh, the stock market is going down, I might go, I might go like this. I guess the old way around it would be like that, wouldn't it? Um, if the stock market is going down, I would do it, I would do it like this. But if I'm uh, um, speaking to a room full of people, I need to make gestures that fill the space. I need to go much, much bigger than I would do, I would do normally. So instead of being in this little, instead of filling this little intimate space between us here, imagine now that I'm speaking to an entire room full of people. And this is a big room, it's a hotel room. I mean, I don't know, I don't know what size of audience you have to speak to. Uh, I speak to groups generally between 50 and 2,500 is, the, is the, the, the main range that I've spoken to. But you're filling a big room, even if it's only 50 people, that's already you know a decent sized room in a, in a hotel. And if it's two and a half thousand, it's getting pretty big. So you need to make gestures that are big enough. Now you may notice that the little movements I'm making here, they're simply not enough. If I say, you know what, the stock market went down, it looks tiny in a room of this size. You imagine you're a camera looking at me in a big room. So I need to say, and you know what, ladies and gentlemen, the stock market went down, right? You need to be making much, much bigger movements. If you say, I picked it up and threw it away, if I'm speaking with you like this, I can say, you know what, I just picked it up and I picked it up and I threw it away. Is it, that's, that's enough, that's a big gesture when you and I are just speaking like this. But if I'm in a big room, I need to say, you know what, I picked it up and I threw it away. You need to fill the room with your presence. And a major part of that is using your physical, your physical person, your physical presence. It seems when you first, and by the way, you should always practice at, at home, of course. Um, when you practice, it's, it, it's gonna seem ridiculous. I'll be honest with you. You'll be doing it in maybe in front of in front of a mirror or in a hotel room, and it's gonna seem crazy to be making these big movements. I assure you, once you're in the room and filling the, filling the room, it'll mean that you actually get seen. The trick with speaking is to have your audience stay awake. And big gestures, larger than life gestures, are one of the key ways of doing it. Practice with this and have some fun with it. And uh, write your experiences in the blog. Your homework for today is to uh, tell me how you got on when you practice this in front of your mirror. Write it down right now in the comments and, uh, and let's hear what you have to say.